Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to some Dire Wolf 20. How are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. I am. So, first things first, you'll notice I have an Elder Guardian on my head. I didn't know you could wear these as a helmet. Matter of fact, there is a spot here that you can actually wear it and still wear all your armor. I didn't know that. I found out by accident. Uh, we'll get into that in just a minute. Uh, as you can see, what we done last episode, it's not working at all. Why is it not working? Because it's all full. Yeah. We got 83, 84 pools of mana packed, ready for us to go. We're going to do a little bit of stuff. Most of what I'm going to do today is going to be off camera. Then we'll get into what we're going to be doing. Um, I'm going to do some Mythic Botany stuff today. Uh, so, yeah, that's done. Uh, so, since last episode, what have I done? Well, I've done quite a bit. Uh, first things first. Um, I've worked on our storage just a, a, a smidgen. Uh, I've added this storage scanner. Uh, this is just looking at this stuff here. It's not got... Uh, we can adjust it to where it's seeing more. But uh, the problem that I had with it is I was putting stuff back in here and it was putting them in the chest over there or these chests over here and I didn't want to part with it. So I've changed it. Uh, number two, I have added this modular storage. Uh, and this modular storage has a lot of goodies in it. Uh, this is everything that we have gotten so far out of this up until the point that I've done all that. I, I had some time i wasn't recording anything just messing around watching some tv with the wife and i went through and i cleaned this out it doesn't look like it we'll go over that here in just a second because i cleaned it out and then it turned it back on um so this is all we got as far as what the crystals go we're going to try to mess with some of that today uh, i've already got started with most of it uh, i'm going to try to get this to a tier two i don't know if we're going to have the power for it uh, we're going to take care of that today. Uh, I also ran uh, the resource miner just to see kind of what it would get. Uh, one of the things that we're going to need, though, is blue or the, the ice. We're going to need that for uh, power when we get into that. And then I turned it back on and just let it collect more ores. Now I've got a whole bunch more stuff that I need to go through. All right. Um, one of the other things I went and done. Um, let's see if I can look at the map. Uh, I was looking, we've got integrated dynamics in this now, and I went looking for uh, some min mineral trees and had to go all the way out here, happened to come across a village, come across a party, and come across a raid, set the raid off, and I got one of these guys. We got a Ravager statue too. Um, and then a whole bunch of banners. So, uh, one other thing that I've done is I started collecting or breaking some of the rock crystals out and realized that we've got so many freaking rock crystals now, it ain't funny. Uh, to the point where I am just kind of going through and using them for some uh, liquid starlight. Because uh, we're going to need some liquid starlight. I'm not going to tell you what for, but we're going to need a bunch of it. Uh, Alright, so that's all of that. That's kind of what has happened in between episodes. Alright, so as far as today, like I said, we're going to start off by doing some Mythic Botany stuff. Um, I want to make these guys here, the Band of Mana, the Band of Aura, just because these this produces mana, this holds mana. Uh, because we are going to get into um, making... Um, the, uh, 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 yeah... Not that. Uh, the Alf Steel stuff. Uh, basically, there is the normal Terra Steel stuff, and then I guess afterwards now we've got uh, the Alf Steel helmets. Or not helmets, but the Alf Steel stuff. So I'm going to guess that, let's see, um, it's got better, looks like better armor. Um, 20% less cost, 20% less cost. I don't know how much difference there really is in it, but I assume if it comes after Terra Steel, that it should be better than Terra Steel. It's one of the reasons why we've done all this. Uh, so I want to make, 
uh, all the armor. We're going to make, uh, of course, we got to have the pylons um, to do the Gaia pylons, which no big deal. We can handle that now. Um, but I want to make all the armor, all the... Um, the rings, the armor, uh, we'll make, I don't, we'll make all the tools, uh, the plus 13 attack damage is less than what this is, but we can make it better. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going to work on. So to do this, we need this guy right, did it again, this guy right here, uh, the mana infuser, which Glimmering dream, Dreamwood, which we can handle all that. Ruin of Winter, Ruin of Spring, Summer, Autumn. All those are stuff that we've got. This one here is the new one. Uh, it's the Ruin of Asgard, uh, which takes all that. Plus, we need the Rod of the Bifrost, which we can make that. No big deal. Uh, and then, if we look in our book, we are going to need... Um, that's... What is it? Uh, that's tear steel. That's out steel. Um, we need gold, and that is what the glimmering, not the glimmering, but um, what is that stuff called? Do do do. Um, I don't see it. Um. Ah, it took a second. Shimmer Rock. That's what we need. So we need those. Let's put this up here so I don't lose it. Which takes Bifrost Block, which is Alf Glass. It's all stuff that we need. We'll have to do along the way. So, uh, I've got my work cut out for me. Uh, I need to get busy. So I'm going to make all this stuff up, and then I will be back. All right, so I don't know if it's just a thing that is the it, just the Dire Wolf 20 pack, because uh, Dire being Dire and the whole thing against the Enderman. But I have noticed, flying around the world and stuff, there are Endermen carrying stuff everywhere. That I don't know um, if it's a, a setting that's just in this pack. Uh, but I have noticed it big time uh, in between flying, in between bases and stuff like that. Uh, but one thing, while I'm thinking about it right quick, one thing I've noticed. Uh, of course, Botany Pots is the kind of like the new bonsai pots that we had, or the bonsai poppers and stuff that we had before. Uh, one thing I noticed, no leaves. Uh, it doesn't do leaves. Uh, so I had to go get leaves. Alright, so I should have everything together that I need to do this. So, first things first is we need our Shimmer Rock. So, Bifrost Block. Shimmer Rock. We've got that. We've got our gold. We need the Mana Infuser. Boom, there we go. And then this guy can go in this spot here. Uh, as it will do both of these. We can do tear steel here, and we can do the, uh, I made one too many gold blocks, but we can do tear steel and the alf steel. Uh, Alright, so this guy here, this guy on top. So now all we need to get the alf steel is going to be... Uh, Elementium, Dragonstone, Pixie Dust. It's easy enough for us to do. Let me grab a handful of those. We're going to have to do... Uh, I need to look at this. So, um, Botania. I need... we got to go through all this stuff. So, I need to make all the... That's the one that I need. All of that, uh, which these need the mana steel stuff, which needs the sp oh, that's a lot of work. It's all right, we're gonna do it. Uh, we're going to need the truncator and we're going to need the tear blade. All this stuff should be fairly easy to do, it's just a matter of sitting and crafting all of the that. 
uh, and we're going to use a ton of mana for this. So I'm going to get all this stuff together. I'll get the alf steel that we need to make to make what we need to do, and then I shall be back. All right, so we're back. Uh, we've got our tear steel stuff. Uh, let's take uh, this guy off so we can see it. It's pretty cool gear. I really like it. Uh, it's got uh, about the same uh, toughness, I think, as Diamond does. Maybe slightly better. Um, we can upgrade it uh, with wheels once we get into killing uh, the Gaia Guardian. Uh, but for now, we're not doing that because we're fixing to upgrade it even more. Uh, now, the Terror Shatter. These things have ranks. Uh, basically, you can fill it with more mana. The better the mana, the better the uh, radius of it is. Right now, it's D. It does, I think it's just one and one. Uh, you can get it all the way up to SS, but to get it to SS, it takes like a thousand mana pools or something like that. We're going to attempt it with the Alf Steel one. Um, and then we've got the Terror Trunks Truncator, which will kill trees as long as we've, you know, but we can go use it right quick. Let's get us a little bit of mana. Uh, so we've got the Band of Aura, too. Uh, Band of Aura generates a slow amount of mana. Uh, as you can see, we've already got a little bit of mana in there. It's very slow uh, to go. Now, we can take the band, uh, or the band of mana, throw it in here, and it'll suck a little bit of it out. And basically, as long as we've got mana in this, we shouldn't take any kind of real durability. Alright, so if memory... Dang, I just messed it up. If memory serves me correct, we should be able to use this thing. Boom. Whole tree gone. Uh, didn't use no durability. It uses mana instead. These things are great. Actually, that took down a couple of trees because they were attached to each other. Uh, not that we necessarily need any tree stuff because we've got the botany pots. But there you go. That's what that is. Now, the Terra Blade is nice in one regard because you can stand back and it use it. There was a mob down here. Uh, there was a creeper. You can stand back and use it. Doesn't always shoot it. But it's kind of like having a bow. So there we go. That's that's all that stuff. Now we can take our band of mana and make it tear steel. It'll hold even more mana. Uh, the band of aura with the tear steel to make the greater band, and it will generate mana just a little bit faster. That's not good enough for us. We're going to make the alf steel versions of this. So let me get all that stuff together, and then I'll be back. All right, as we haven't made this together, I figured we'd make these together. Uh, basically, I pop my dominant spark out of there and put it in here. This makes this thing run a whole lot faster. So one of each of these. There we go. We've got our first piece of alf steel. I just thought about something. Uh, in order to make these guys, we need double. So I need to actually make these and then nine more. So, I got a little bit of work to do. I'll be back. So, just to give you all a quick idea of how much mana this has taken. Yeah. These guys are... Less than half full now. These, some of them are half full. We just made 18 of these. Each one of these takes two pulls. So, that's 36 pulls just for that. And then we made 23 pieces of tear steel. So that is about 11 pools of mana. Yeah. So in a period of a about an hour sitting here, I have used up 11 pools of mana. Or not 11, but 43, 44 pools of mana. So, but we got all of them that we need. Next bit of business is we need to make sure that, um, let's see here, use, uh, so that just takes the regular alf steel, so in order to do that we need the smithing table, we can do that pretty easy, 
Uh, let's go to this guy. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's make one. Um... Really? I hate... I hate this. Oh, I hate it. So close to being getting started with other stuff. Uh, that goes back. Alright, so let's make this again. There we go, smithing table. This guy can go... Wherever we need it to for now. Here's a good spot. So we should be able to take that guy with that guy... There's our greater band of aura. This will make mana pretty quick. Um, I do not know. Let's go back to... What are we doing wrong here? It's just not showing up. So this guy with that guy gives us a greater, the greatest band of mana. So there we go. We've got that. Now we need to make the... Wait, um, this guy just takes one. That one just takes one. That one just takes one. It's just the armor that takes the double. All right. So I need four of these. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's do... That's not what I wanted. I wanted this, that, that. Four of those. Beautiful. Alright, so him. There's the Alf Blade. Terra Shatter. The Alf Truncator. The Leggings. The Boots. The Hemet. And our chest plate. Beautiful. We've got it all. Uh, that just give us speed. I've seen the field of view change. Oh, it's yellow. It's the light yellow, light orange. That looks pretty cool. Now, our alf blade. Does the same thing. Looks like it might be a little bit better. It's nighttime outside. Let's go have some fun with this. We are moving a lot faster now. Um... Let's see here. Passive mana generation on mana tablets. Regen even if hunger isn't topped off. 20% less mana cost, which is nice. Makes you jump higher. Makes you run faster. Knockback resistance and reach. And what did that say about the full set? Um, didn't say anything about the full set. Oh, armor set. Uh, doesn't say. All right. Uh, wrong one. Let's go find some mobs to kill. See how this works out. We're going to wind up doing this the entire episode today, and I hadn't planned on that. Not too bad. Let's go smack him with the actual... It's not too shabby. Uh, we are taking a bit of health damage, um, but we are regening even though we are low on health, but we are out, just about out of mana. That's actually not a bad thing, regening health when you don't have to worry about eating. Beautiful. Awesome. Uh, alright, so the only other thing is to take a look at this guy. Let's kill a tree or two. Uh, it's basically the exact same. That doesn't work real well killing mobs. Uh, what's the damage on it? 10 attack damage, 13 attack damage. Uh, so we do have Let's. Alright, so the regen is enough that we're actually gaining a little bit of health while we're 
poisoned. Not too bad. Alright. So, yeah, that's enough of that. Uh, the only other thing I want to do is go ahead and fill up our banana band. Our mana band. Uh, and then we don't have to worry about our armor. Are we going to regen? Yeah, we are regen. Alright, I just want to make sure. We have a wandering trader out here. I have yet to come across one of these guys because we don't have... Uh, rune scribing recipe, quick latch, and then just regular stuff. None of that does me any good. But what? There are, I think, statues for that. Not sure. All right. Anyways, let's go fill up our mana band. So basically, we can take this guy. Uh, as you can see, it's already filling up, and it's filling up fairly quick. Uh, but let's throw it in here and fill it up, and then we're going to start working. I'm going to take a look at our Terror Shatterer. Actually, before we do all that, let's take that out. Um, that disappeared. All right, so Terror Shatterer. Let's go look at this. So, with just a D, we got the one by. Let's rank it up. Basically, to take it and rank it up, just take it, throw it in the mana pool. We'll keep an eye on it and go from there. That didn't take but just a second. We've now got to rank C. Matter of fact, that took all of about three seconds. I was like, wait, we should check this out. Uh, is there... Ah, there we go. So that does a one by three. Let's go rank it up again. Give it just a second, because it's not going to take long to get... Oop, I missed. So if this thing works just like the Terror Shatterer does, you can throw this in a pool and just leave it, and it will not despawn. Um, where are we at? Halfway there. Alright, so we're back. We've got it to a B now. So that does a 3 by 3 by 2 Which is nice. Let's go see if we've got enough to get her to A. Alright, so we're back. I've got it up to an A. This is going to be the last one that we do. Uh, so this guy... does, what is that, 5 by 5 by 2. It's not too shabby. Wait, I want to make sure that's what that's doing. Alright, so we're standing on the block. Yeah, 5 by 5 by 2. And of course it'll get bigger from there. But we're going to use the rest of the uh, mana that we got to fill up the our band of mana. Now there's two other rings here. There's a ring of Nif Nifheim, Nif Nifelheim, and the ring of Muspelheim. I can't pronounce any of that stuff. I can pronounce some of this stuff because I have watched Thor, Niv Uh But yeah, anyways. Uh, so these are the only two rings. Basically, the rest of the runes don't have any use right now. Uh, so, but this one, uh, if we look in our, like, I'm looking at something else right this minute. This one makes you immune to all kinds of fire damage and makes you ignite somebody when you attack them, which is kind of nuts. This ring gives you a, gives a strong slowness effect. Um, I'm not necessarily worried about that, uh, too much. Uh, there's not a whole lot that we're going to mess with. So, but in our charm slot, we've got two ring spots. We'll put this guy here and this guy here. This guy should still generate mana as long as it's there. We'll put it down here for now. Um, so, but now we're generating mana. We've got this guy. Let's go see, make sure that this is going to work there. Uh, that's not where I wanted to go. Let's head to the nether. 
So one thing that I noticed right off the bat is piglins aren't messing with me. That's nice. But anyways. We're taking damage, but we're not taking damage. The fire tick is still there. Uh, but we're not, yeah, we're not taking any damage. Um, let's take that off. Now we are. Alright, so that's good to know. Now we can go play around in lava without having to worry about it. Beautiful. I don't need to worry about that. Um, I think there was one other thing I wanted to look at. Alright, yeah, there was. Uh, so, uh, we're going to wind up spending the entire video with this. I hadn't planned on it. Anyways, we got Functional Flora. We got the Aqua Panthus, uh, which is two blue... A light blue, a cyan, and a green. So let's grab this. Uh, that is light blue. That is the cyan. That is the blue blue. And that is a green. And then I need a seed. So these, these, and that was two blue. Uh, let's get us a bucket. All right, that, that. So a cyan, a green, two blues, that. There we go. This guy we should be able to put right here. And that should. Do I need to link it? No, it's got. Is that too far away? That is supposed to fill, according to this, small amount of mana to fill nearby cauldrons and petal apothecaries. Wonder if that's too far away. Let's try this. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's put it there. I don't like having it above ground. But we may have to. Um, let's try that. Oh, there it went. Okay. Well, it is what it is. We'll deal with that. Alright, so with that, that's it. We have made our way basically through all the way through Mythic Botany. Uh, not too bad. I like what I got. Only difference, only problem is, is it takes a lot of mana to get to this point. So, beware. Anyways, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!